Next, I would like to welcome some of the most important guests of the day, Tia Richardson and our crew of youth artists who made this project. These creative, brave, inspiring young people spent four weeks painting what you see here, putting their heart and soul into this. I'm proud of you for your willingness to take that risk. Together, we created a renewed sense of community through art. We present to you nurturing the roots of life within the community. One of the biggest takeaways that I've gotten from this program is being present in the community and reminding people who live here that they are cared about and that the space they live in is cared about. You know, I see that when mothers with their daughters and children are walking by or grown men in their 40s in their car driving by or people my age on their bike passing by stop for a moment and they say, hey, that's really cool, that's really beautiful, you're doing a great job. And we even get a lot of thank yous and that really, really like, touches my heart in a very special way. Here, I am going to ask you to, to make, make a specific choice about e what each color means. This is a group of nine teens that, were, that applied from around the city and were selected based on their application and interview to be a part of this process of doing the mural. The first thing we do is spend some time thinking about how this is a, a new kind of art, a new kind of way to do art. Thinking of ourselves as a group or as a community instead of as individual artists. The journey is that challenge of can I learn something new about myself? We've been learning up to this point, the first to get in touch with what, what are we feeling? as human beings. What makes us angry? What makes us happy? What are we sad about? They're learning technique. They're learning how to paint on brick. They're learning how to properly put the paint on so the mural's gonna last long. The idea is to get them ready to work alongside the community through a, a series of workshops where they work hands-on with community to get their input and their sketches and their ideas. Who thinks they could draw any of those pictures? Okay, great. In the workshops, we'll have people identify some of the challenges that they're facing, some of the problems, the struggles, and we'll spend some time thinking about some things that they think would help improve any of those. It brings a sense of pride that they are included in something like this. Because certain murals, people just pay a bill, pay like, pay a person to paint any art on the on the back of a building. But with this, the way we did it is going to the community workshops and paint is we get input from everybody and everybody has their own opportunity to be put in the mural even if you aren't painting it. Safe streets, immigration, mental health, mm -hmm. and then and substance abuse just came up. Seeing like the violence, the um, shootings. And there's like the homeless person because you know like church should be a place where people could go and get what they need. This ideally would, kind, would address um, a lot of these. We feel like some of this would improve some of these. So it's like you see something up there at the mural that you like talked about at the workshop brings a certain a pride and a happiness that you say, I did that, I helped that, I made this into my community and look how beautiful it is. Then we took those, those ideas and those drawings, those actual drawings, we took those back and we tried piecing them together and saying, 
what, what was talked about a lot, what, what seems to be one of the things that is really important to a lot of people in the community. And after the design is done, we have some days for the community to put the, the first layers of color on the wall. A group of completely different people that might not know each other thought of these things and, like, and they care. And so for, for somebody to see that, it's, it's a reflection of what's possible. Now that I know how to make murals, I will definitely be working on murals in the future, definitely, like 100%, even if it's something small, because I realize like this is something great. It's really been an honor to work with Tia and with the, the other, my, my peers on this project. It means a lot to me in terms of my, my personal development as a, as a young artist. This has definitely been the most rewarding experience because I've come to realize that what I am sort of supposed to do as an artist isn't exclusive. It's not something that's reserved for the people who have resources. It's what I'm supposed to do as an artist is give back to my, my people, my community. I believe it's helping people find within themselves that they have the ability to, to create something. And we all want change, and this is a way to do that. So by involving people, it helps them see that they can be a part of making change. Trying to do the things that really bring you closer to the community and bring the community closer to you and once we get closer, we get tighter, we get stronger, and that makes it a better place to live.